In the next 30 minutes, we are gonna strengthen and define our legs, our thighs, our bum, and our calf muscles. So if you are looking to get strong, you have made it to the right place. This is leg day, and we go all in on leg day because we showed up, we wanna get the most out of our workout. So make sure for this workout that you have got your heavy dumbbells ready. Also, if you have a box, you're gonna to wanna to grab that today. If you don't have a box, if you have an exercise bench, you can use a sturdy chair, a couch, a bed, something. For a few of the exercises, we're gonna have things like seated calf raise. We're gonna do some step ups today. We also have hip thrust. If you do not have a box chair bench, something like that, I will always give you a modification though so you can follow along and still get an awesome workout without that. Another thing, if you have it, your booty band or mini resistance band for a couple of the exercises, but if you don't have this, we can always do it without it as well. So we're gonna get right into our warm up. So take these next few minutes with me to really make sure that you are gonna maximize these 30 minutes by getting warm to start out with. So we're gonna start with a squat, lateral leg lift right into a knee pull, and then we're gonna switch sides and do it on the other side. So if you wanna start your watch as well, you can do that. And let's get into our squat. Here we go, down and then lateral leg lift right into a knee pull and then switch sides. So just taking a couple minutes here to make sure we've got the joints warm, make sure that blood is flowing down to the lower body, help us prevent any in injuries. Sometimes when you just start out cold with your strength workouts, that can cause an injury. So I'm really glad that you're warming up with me right now. And pull, last time here on this side, lift and then squeeze. We're gonna go into good morning. So take the legs out just a little wider than shoulder width, hands on your hips. We're gonna drive those hips back, slight bend in your knee. So here we go, taking it down, back flat, core engaged and squeeze. So you can feel those hamstrings right away starting to warm up. We are working two sets today, of just full range, that normal exercise. Then after those two sets, we have finishers to finish out that round. Now, finishers today, we are working all pulses. It's gonna be 60 seconds, it's gonna be tough. Squeeze one more here, drive it back and up. Now take those legs out a little bit wider because we're gonna go into a lateral lunge, alternating sides. So you can start up a little bit higher and then as we work through this, you can try to take that lunge a little bit deeper. Good, keep that chest up. Working nice and slow through this, holding it for just a second. Just actively working through this warm up right now. Last one off this way. Bring those feet back together. We're gonna do hip circles now, so working the hips one way and then we'll take it around to the other side. Three more, here's three. Two, and then to the other side. Now with finisher, you can use dumbbells if you'd like. That's of course gonna add a little extra intensity. You can also do the pulses without the dumbbells as well. But during this workout to really help strengthen those muscles, make sure to pick a dumbbell weight that is going to challenge you through our full 45 seconds of work, but then that last 10 to 15 seconds should be very challenging. So that's how you know you're going heavy enough. That's gonna help us work that hypertrophy training that we're after today. We're gonna get into our first exercise now. The time is now. We're getting ready for it. We've got sumo squats, so two sets of sumo squats, then we're gonna do pulses. So grab your dumbbell if you wanna use one in the center or two dumbbells for either side of your leg. We're gonna get into this, grab your dumbbells, and let's do this. All right, getting our dumbbell, we go in three. Here's two and one. As you lower down, press through the heel and exhale as you come back up. Almost there. So we're gonna work through two sets, full range, and then we've got pulses. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Ooh, 
rest it out. Give your hands a little shake, wrist circles if you need to. I know when we're going heavy, sometimes the hands need a little break. 10 seconds, we go again. Let's get ready to go. Five seconds, second set, last full range set before those pulses. So come on, go heavy, give it everything, and let's go. As you press up, think about squeezing those inner thighs together as you pull up. That's gonna help activate those inner thighs just a little bit more. Almost there. Now with those pulses, again, you have the option, no dumbbells at all. You can lower the weight or you can try to keep the same weight. This is three. Two and one. But with those pulses, we're ju it's just gonna be a little movement up and down in that sumo squat stance. Ooh, trying to decide what I wanna do for my dumbbell weight. Cause this is a big guy. I'm gonna do two dumbbells. Now, let's bring it down. 60 second pulses. Here we go in three, in two, and let's pulse. Keep your chest up, little movement down and up. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. Breathing can give you just that little extra power you need to really get through those reps. And if you do need to come out of the pulses, Come out of it for just a few seconds, give yourself a little break, and then get right back into it when you can. Over halfway here. Oh my word. <gasps> Almost there, come on, keep it strong. Under 10. Here it is, three, two, one, nice. <sighs> Weights down. Going on to Romanian deadlift. Now you can use one dumbbell as well with this or two dumbbells, but we're gonna keep those dumbbells nice and close. Slight bend in the knee, hinging back at the hips, driving those hips towards that wall behind you. Keep your back flat and your core engaged with this one. Here we go in three, in two, and one. Squeeze, weight stays in the heels. Now with this one, for that third pulsing set, we're gonna mix it up a little bit, and we're gonna do a squat pulse. Don't lock your knees out, make sure you're keeping those knees soft. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome, second set is coming. All right, now remember that pulse set is going to be those squats. Going in five seconds, here's three, two, and let's begin. Weight stays in the heels. Exhale as you squeeze up. Almost there. Here we are. Here's three, two, and one. Ooh. Nice. All right. So for our squat, 
If you were using those dumbbells, we're gonna put those dumbbells right up on the shoulders. 60 seconds of pulses. Going in about five seconds. So keep that chest up. We're gonna lower that squat down. Little pulses up and down. Here we go. Pulse it. Keep that chest up. Sink that bum down. Whew. Don't let that chest fall forward. Keep it up nice and strong. Whew, halfway. Come on, keep pulsing. 20 seconds to go. The countdown is on. This is 10. Five. Here's three, two, one. Oh, nice. Awesome job. All right, so we are going into step ups now. So quick, quickly, if you've got your box, your chair, your bench, something to step up on, grab that, have that ready. If you're using dumbbells, you can use the dumbbells down by your legs or up on your shoulders. We're going to work one side and then the other. You've got that modification on screen as well. If you're following that, you'll be in that glute bridge, getting ready, leading with one leg up. And here we go. Stepping that entire foot up on your box, pushing through the heel. Keeping that core engaged. Almost there. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. Nice. One more set, just like that. Now if you can go up a little bit and wait, go for that. This one does get the heart rate up. So if you're feeling a little out of breath, that might be why this is tough. Whew. Eight seconds. Let's get our dumbbells. Again, dumbbells can be down by your side or up on your shoulder. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep that chest up. Almost there. Here we are, here's three, two, and a one. All right, modification going to be on the ground, stationary lunge. So whatever leg, leg was leading, that is going to be your forward lunge. We're gonna do stationary lunge pulses. You've got that modification on screen for the glute bridge pulse. Oh, 60 seconds and get into position. Dumbbells can be down, dumbbells can be up or no dumbbells at all. And let's pulse it, here we go. Chest is up, core is engaged. A little move up, a little move down. A little move, a lot of burn. You and me, everything that we've been through is almost halfway. You won't go. We've had our great, but so is there's a light inside of us. These finishers really keep those muscles under tension, burning out the muscles. Almost there. You can feel this. In you. Ten seconds. Oh, 
Good, here it is. Three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're just switching sides. So whatever that lead leg was, we're mixing it up. We're switching it up. We're working again. You've got that modification for that single leg glute bridge on the ground. Reminder here for the dumbbells, down by your side, up at your shoulders. Going in three seconds. Here's two and one. your chest up, breathing, almost there, oh that rest is going to feel awesome, here we are, here's three, two, and one, one more set like that, and then we'll do that pulsing stationary lunge, Grab a drink, throw it off anytime you need to. This one's getting pretty feisty today. Let me say that. You know when the shake is like right out of the gate and you're like, okay, the stairs tomorrow, I can see it already. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm like, oh, the stairs. All right, second set, here we go. Here's three, two, and one. Stationary lunge or that glute bridge pulse. 15 seconds in we go. Dumbbells can be down by your side or up at your shoulders. Five seconds and we pulse it out. Here we go, here's three, two, 60 seconds on the clock, let's go. that chest up. Little up, little down. Keep it up, almost there. Over halfway. You got this. Come on, you press play. You showed up. Give it everything. This is how we get stronger. We are pushing through. We are breaking down the walls. We got it. Here it is. Here's three, two, one. Nice. All right, this is where, if you have got your band, we are going to use that. Now you've got a modification on the ground for that rear leg lift. Two sets on one side, then we've got the pulses. We're gonna switch it over. Band is going to be right above your knees. Now when I'm on the box, I'm gonna take it and put it under my knees so that I can hold it in place. But with the box, it's giving just a little bit more range of motion here. So we're gonna be down, we're gonna lift and lower, and lower. So tapping on the ground, then squeezing the glute and lifting. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, 
one. One more set, then we pulse it. So again, when I'm on the box, I've got the band on my knee to hold it in place because I always struggle with the band rolling right up. So that is stopping. So in case you're having that trouble, just keep the band right under your knee. Getting ready back into position. Going in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Make sure you're taking the time here at the top to squeeze, contract that glute. Good, well over halfway, you're almost there. Here we are, three, two, one. Now, you can think about the band as your dumbbell. So for the pulse, you can do it with or without that band. We've got 15 seconds, we go. Let's get into position. So little up, little down, pulse it out. Keep that glute contracted. And here we go. Come on, keep the pulse going. Almost halfway. Good, 20 seconds. Keep that core engaged. Come on, less than 10 seconds out. Here we are, here's three, two, one. Oh my word. All right, so we're just switching it up. Same thing, other side. Okay. So again, you've got that option on the floor, but here on the box, we've got just a little bit more of a range of motion. Core is engaged, going in three, in two, and one, here we go. Squeeze the glute at the top, hold it for a second, and then control it back down. Good, here we are, here's three, two, one. Nice, one more set. <sighs> 10 seconds and we go. Let's get ready to go. Leg is out, we go in three, two, and here we go, lift and down. Here we are, here's three, two, one. Pulsing. Again, you've got the option with the band. 
take it off, leave it on, less than 20 and we go. <laughs> My legs are, I'm really like, oh, this is fire right now. I told you, we, we're, we're strengthening the legs, we got the thighs, we got the glutes, calves are coming up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all from here down gonna be jello. So that's what we get to look forward to. I hope you like jello. We're getting ready to go, pulsing it out. Here we go in three, 60 seconds, and one. Pulse it out almost halfway. Fifteen to go. Here we go, here's three, two, one. Nice, all right. Now, you can keep the band on if you'd like. We're gonna do hip thrust. If you don't have your box, you're on the floor for glute bridge. So get your box ready. We're gonna put our shoulders on. You can use a dumbbell for this as well. I'm gonna use my towel for just a little extra cushion here on the box. But I like to use one dumbbell for hip thrust, actually. I think it's just easier to control getting up and down on the box. So bringing it back, shoulders on the box there. We're gonna drop it down and up. Here we go. Down, squeeze up. Good, you drop those hips down. Weight stays in the heels. Drive those hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze and then back down. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. 20 seconds, we go again. It always seems like a lot more work to get out of this position. <laughs> so I always just stay, I'm like, oh, okay. Just gonna be awkward here for a minute until our second set. <sighs> We're getting ready to go. We've got three seconds, bring those legs out, drop it down, here we go, down and squeeze. Really think right here. As you squeeze, drive those hips up, contract the glutes, and then back down. I'm sure you can imagine what's next. <laughs> the pulses. Again, this can be done with or without dumbbell. Last three, two, and one. So we're gonna do 60 seconds of pulses from here. Ooh. 10 seconds and we go. So let's bring it up. Going in three, here's two, and one, pulse it. Weight stays in the heels. Little down, little up. One round remains, all focused on calves. Ooh, almost there, over halfway. Almost 
almost there. Oh, here's three, two, and one. Carefully set your dumbbell down if you're using that. Bring it up. We're gonna use the box again because we're doing calf raises. However, you do not need the band. Now, if you don't have your box, you're gonna do the standing, so you'll see that option on screen. With the box though, or I'm sorry, with the dumbbells, you can use one or two dumbbells just right above your knees. So sitting on that box, oops, I gotta put my box up a little bit. You wanna have your knees at about a 90 degree bend for this. So make sure that seat is about that high. Here we go, calf raises. So with this, make sure you're holding it at the top for a second, contracting the calves, and then back down. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. If you can up your weight, go for it. I'm gonna switch it up and do two dumbbells right above my knees. Just about five seconds and we go. And let's begin. Lift, hold it for a second, squeeze, and then down. Contract those muscles as you hold, tighten that calf muscle up, and then down. One more set after this, finishing out with the pulses. That 30 minutes went by quick. I mean, it burned, it burned, but it flew by. Oh my word. There's three, two, and one. Time to finish out with the pulses. So with the pulses, we're gonna keep those heels up. Try not to let them touch the ground unless you're taking a quick break and then right back into it. 10 seconds and we go with or without dumbbells. You're gonna feel it, but finishing strong. Here we go in three, in two, and let's pulse it. Here we go. Good, squeeze. Here it is, halfway. The stretch is gonna feel after this. Oh my word. Listen, do not skip the stretch after this, especially after leg day. It's gonna help with that muscle soreness. It's gonna help increase the lower limb flexibility, which, I don't know, that's always a goal for me. Just, I feel like it makes life easier when the flexibility is working with you. Almost there, here's three, two, one. You made it. We got it. You are amazing. Do not forget to get a stretch. I love you so much. And I will see you at the stretch and for our next workout, you rock.